Exposure to high temperatures or heat can cause serious illness and even death. Ensuring that your body is regularly hydrated and protected from sun during hot months is essential to maintaining balance for performing well at work. Risk factors for heat illness include high temperature and humidity, direct sun exposure, no breeze or wind, low liquid intake, heavy physical labor, wearing non-breathable waterproof clothing, no controls are in place to reduce the impacts of equipment that radiates heat, and the worker's body not being acclimated to working in a hot environment. And the risk level increases with the heat index as well. So caution must be taken anytime the heat index is above 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Following are the two most serious illnesses that may result from exposure to heat in the workplace. First is heat stroke. This is a medical emergency that may result in death. Signs of heat stroke include confusion, loss of consciousness, and seizures. If a worker shows signs or symptoms of heat stroke, get medical help immediately and call 911. Heat exhaustion is the second most serious heat-related health problem. The signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion are headache, nausea, dizziness, weakness, irritability, confusion, thirst, heavy sweating, and a body temperature greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. There are precautions that can be taken when temperatures are high and the job involves physical work. First is hazard identification. Learn to recognize hazards such as high temperatures, humidity levels, sun, and other thermal exposures, work demands and clothing or PPE risk factors. Next is using heat identification tools to evaluate your environment on the job site, such as OSHA's heat smartphone app or the National Weather Service heat index. The next precaution is to block out the sun's rays. Another is to cover up. Wear tightly woven clothing that blocks out light. Try this test. Place your hand between a single layer of your clothing and a light source. If you can see your hand through the fabric, the garment offers little protection. Use sunscreen. A sun protection factor of at least 30 or higher is recommended. You want to block both UVA and UVB rays with a broad spectrum sunscreen to guard against skin cancer. Be sure to follow application directions on the bottle. Wear UV absorbent safety glasses. They don't have to be expensive, but they should block 99 to 100% of UVA and UVB radiation. Wear a full brim hard hat to keep the sun off your neck, ears, nose, and scalp. Limit exposure. UV rays are most intense between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. If you're unsure about the sun's intensity, take the shadow test. If your shadow is shorter than you, the sun's rays are the day's strongest. Next is hydration. Hydration is crucial to limit heat stress. Water should be available and easily accessible. The exact amount of hydration intake depends on the individual. A good rule of thumb for an active construction worker is to drink 32 ounces of water an hour, which is about one cup every 15 minutes. Also, replace necessary electrolytes the body needs to stay hydrated, fueled, and focused. And avoid alcohol and caffeinated beverages. Both lead to dehydration. How do you know if you're dehydrated? Use a dehydration urine color chart that uses your urine color as an indication of your level of dehydration and what actions you should take to help return your body back to a normal level of hydration. And finally, rest. Consider a modified work schedule, such as starting early morning and finishing early afternoon to avoid the hottest times of the day. Take rest and water breaks when needed and ensure that fully shaded or air-conditioned areas are available for periodic resting and cooling down. Workers not used to working in higher temperatures need an opportunity to acclimatize over a period of up to 14 days. This process gradually allows the body to build a tolerance to working in the heat. If a worker falls ill from heat stress, immediately get them to a shady or air-conditioned area, provide cool water, and apply ice to the back of the neck, and immediately contact a supervisor. Working safely, especially in high temperatures, means being prepared. Knowing how to limit heat stress may save your life.